Hey guys, Phone Arena here with the LG Remark, the upcoming eco-friendly slider from LG and Sprint. The Remark is remarkably similar to the Samsung Reclaim, which we saw about six months ago. It features the same portrait style slide design with the full QWERTY keyboard. We do like the keyboard a lot better than Samsung's. There's some actual relief to the keys here, and it's easier to press. Other than that though, the Remark is a very low-end phone and replaces the Rumor 2 in Sprint's lineup now that the Rumor Touch has moved up to EVDO capabilities. The Remark is truly an entry-level phone but does have some nice features like a micro SD card slot. The music player, however, is subpar and we don't really see anybody using the Remark for that. Design-wise, we have the black and turquoise theme similar to the Rumor 2. We do have the nice little touch of design with the leaf shaped cutout. There's a 1.3 megapixel camera on the back, no flash, and very minimal settings. The pictures actually turned out a little bit better than we expected. LG's never been known for their cameras, but in good lighting, the Remark took passable pictures. In terms of the size, it's very similar to the Reclaim. You can see the Reclaim's a little bit taller. Thickness is virtually equal. The keypad, as we mentioned, is better. The Reclaim keyboard is very tight. The space bar is a little bit smaller. And the keys don't have much feel to them. The Remark, however, has a slightly offset space bar, which is bigger. With the Reclaim, we're often pressing the zero or the period key next to the space bar instead, but we didn't have that problem with the Remark. The Reclaim also has the key, the, excuse us, the camera on the back. However, it's hidden by the slide. There's no doubt that the Remark was inspired by the Reclaim, but the Reclaim is in a different class. Like we said, the Remark is a low-end, entry-level phone, does not feature EVDO, and that's why we don't see Sprint's one-click interface on here. The interface is very similar to any other Sprint device, however. We'll notice Family Locator instead of Maps. That's because the Remark doesn't support Sprint's GPS program. As we mentioned, the Remark is a low-end phone. It'll be free on contract and does not feature niceties like EVDO for 3G connectivity. Because of that, we don't have the one-click interface. We have the standard 12 item icons. We'll notice Family Locator is here instead of Sprint Navigation. For whatever reason, Navigation has been dropped on this device. Only the M240 doesn't have navigation on Sprint's lineup, so it's kind of curious to see a phone like the Remark, which will appeal to a, an eco-friendly crowd, and it doesn't have that. Other than that, the Remark is pretty unremarkable. Like we mentioned, it is eco-friendly, so that's going to be its big selling point. However, beyond that, there's not too much to look for in the Remark. At $20, excuse us, $30 more, the Reclaim is definitely a better phone, though we do like the Remark's keyboard better.